what's up you guys if you're new to the channel welcome and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're returning what's poppin your girl is back with the new do did a big chop let me know if you rocking with it overall I'm very satisfied with the look as you can see, I am in the car, and I might end up making Car Talks a series. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. Honestly, you guys, I've been running around all day handling business, and I really expected to do this video earlier in the day. Due to the circumstances of me getting home later than expected, I'm doing it now, and the sun has gone down. But it's June 1st, and I told myself that I'm gonna lock in and hold myself accountable. Today's topic is reinventing yourself. There there are some things growing into a woman that I want to change personally. Some of you may hear change and get discouraged or think, I don't have to change for anyone. But baby, change for you. Change is not always bad. Change is growth. Once you no longer feel comfortable in the position you're in, that means it's time to elevate, reach new heights. I really want to practice being the best version of myself and standing on the things that I believe in. In order to grow, you have to be real with yourself. And to be real with yourself, you have to know yourself. I feel like as human beings, a lot of us don't really know ourselves. We just live. I didn't know myself for the longest. And getting to know myself was the best thing in my life I ever could have done. I'm so happy with who I am, but I know the person who I want to be as well. So let me ask you this. Who are you and who do you aspire to be? As a woman, I want to be softer. I want to work on the way that I react. I want to feel on top of the world, like nothing in this world can bother me. I don't want any more sad days. I don't want any more mad days. And I know from experience that you have a choice in how your day goes. You choose the things to be mad at. You're the one who chooses to keep that attitude all day. You're the one who gives that person who pissed you off your power. We're too old to be playing get back and revenge games. Just let it go. I really plan to take it far with this YouTube and just being a great person overall. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, I always wanted to do this type of video to where children and young adults could learn from me. And no, I'm not perfect. In fact, perfection does not exist. Perfection is of self. My definition of perfect may not be yours. And yours may be different from anyone and everyone else's in this world. Just be happy with who you are and continue to gradually work on yourself throughout the years. Become your perfect self. Some other things that I really want to work on is my organization, my daily routine. I just feel like as a woman, I should be way more organized. I should handle way more business as of consistently uploading YouTube videos if this is what I want to do in life. I do have a planner inside that I meant to bring out here with me, but I didn't. So I'm actually going to go inside and fill that out when I get done with this video. Just to keep my ducks in a row and things in order. If you always have something to look at visually to remind yourself what needs to be done, I can guarantee it to get done a lot faster, more smooth and efficient. There's no second guessing about what you have to do. You won't forget and you'll make time for it because it's all planned out already. Pre-meditate. I want to take more advantage of my day. Stand on business. Nothing is going to come to you. You know your crowd and the people that you surround yourself with play a big factor in who you are. Make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people with similar interests as you and who want nothing but the best for you. If you're sitting around people who gossip about others all day and are never working on themselves, you will become that. And not only will you become that, they're probably gossiping about you behind your back. I just feel like at some point in life, we just get too old for the shenanigans, you know? You are who you attract. If you want better, be better. You can't say you wanna be someone's wife if you're not even wife material, you feel me? We gotta make every day count. This is time we're not getting back. In six months, you'll wish you were where you could have been if you just started today. So start today. I feel like we spend way too much time pouring into others and being there for others that we're barely even there for ourselves. Some of you may need a social media cleanse. Me personally, I unfollowed the shade room. I unfollowed gossip of the city. I uninstalled Twitter. I was following way too many negative sources and when you're surrounded by negative, you'll be negative. You'll focus on the things that don't matter. Megan the Stallion don't care about you. She don't know you. Spend more time exercising, knowledge, 
Knowledge is power. Once you understand the way that things work, you'll be a lot further in life and ahead of so many people. This is why I have cut meat out of my diet completely. Sounds crazy, I know. I've been throwing down on chicken, steak, my whole life. And I'm not saying that you have to, but for me personally, this is what works. I feel better when I don't eat meat. We really need to be paying attention to the things that we put in our body. These things are affecting us in ways you wouldn't even imagine. But I'm not gonna get completely into that because that's not my place. But YouTube has some great sources. TikTok has great sources to where you can look into this stuff. Those Doritos you're eating, not good for you. Red 40. <laughs> I majorly eat fruits and vegetables now. It's so crazy. I never see myself getting to this point, but for my health, and so I could still be a baddie in 20 years, I'm taking the proper precautions now. Not only that, just meat just tastes flat out nasty to me now. But yeah, so I drink nothing but water and I feel like with the diet, it's just like working out. Once you get through the first one to two weeks of consistency, it's a breeze. I crave nothing but water. If I drink lemonade or juice, I don't drink pop. It just tastes too sweet to me and you can feel how bad it is for you. It's super sticky and thick and sugary. As someone who grew up eating candy my whole entire life, I'm good on it. Moral of the story, it is okay to reinvent yourself. It is okay to cut off those loose ends. It is okay to want better for yourself. It is okay to start over. It is okay to try new things. Step out of your comfort zone. Cause only then will you know what it's like to truly grow. My note to the youth would be, it's perfectly okay not to have everything together. It's okay to be lost. It's okay not to know. We weren't born with the rule book to life. We have to go through things to grow through things. But that's why knowing yourself is so vital. On this channel, you're gonna understand that I am a work in progress. There's no more time for excuses. Stop being so quick to judge and get your ducks in a row. When you're ducks in a row, you're not even gonna care about who's doing what or how someone does that. The more positive you are up here, the more healthier you will be, and the more positive things will go for you. You are in control of your happiness. You are in control of majority everything that happens to you in life. What you cannot control is what other people do, what other people say, or what other people think about you. So just be you, do you wholeheartedly. If you don't like something about yourself, fix it, change it. It's okay to reinvent yourself. And although life is short, it's way too long to be living being someone that you don't like. Being someone who's jealous, who's negative, who's fake, who constantly judges others, talks about others, like your shit don't stink. Be someone you're proud of. Be someone other people trust and can confide in and someone respectable, someone that people wanna be around. I hate being around negative people. It just drains you. We are literally a big ball of energy. Make sure that yours is positive. Before you go to make a remark that's negative, ask, is this necessary? Is this going to change anything? Because a lot of time, y'all don't even be having a dollar and be wanting to give your two cents. What I'ma do with two pennies? Be considerate of others, even if others aren't considerate of you. That's who I wanna be. I don't wanna treat people how they treat me. I want my energy to be so bright and so vibrant that you can either get intimidated by it or you can learn from it and wanna be better. Intimidation just means you are not happy with who you are. I don't want anybody to have a bad experience with me. Do you think your boyfriend can find a badder female than you? When you up here, when you worked on yourself and got yourself up here, you're positive, you're happy, you're outgoing, you have a great sense of humor, on top of being beautiful. A lot of you bad bitches is bullies. Y'all are mean, y'all are judgmental, stuck up. Be a good person. It'll get you a lot further in life, I promise. It'll probably get you a lot more opportunities in this world. Chase your dreams most of all. Dream is all we got in this lifetime. A dream is the only thing that can get most of us out the hood. I'm so grateful to have a platform where I can speak out about this subject. I really hope that this video helped you in some way, shape, or form, and I really look forward to growing with you all.